Okay, so it's been reported today in the UK that um, the struggling retailer Game Group, who own Game Station and Game and the online websites, and also they own Gameplay.co.uk as well, that the, um, the company is in dire straits. Really, it's been announced today that um, apart from SSX that comes out, I think maybe next week, um, Game Game Station they won't be stocking EA games at all. I think that's temporary until they can get some sorted but so Mass Effect 3 that comes out, uh, FIFA Street, um, The Sims, they're all all these up and coming EA games are not going to be stocked in Game and Game Station at all. And to be honest it's had it's been coming um, this downfall um, it's been seen from a while off really because I think it was just a couple of weeks ago I actually wrote a tweet saying that I guarantee that um, game won't last until the end of 2012 and it was the next day that it was reported that they're, um, they've announced that they're going to be closing 35 stores around the UK which is pretty big, that's a pretty big amount of shops and I think it's proof that game shops aren't as like um, what they used to be and especially it's not just because of everyone's using online things like Amazon, Play.com it's not just because of that it's because the retailers they don't do anything to try and bring sales back the prices are always terrible the, there's never any decent offers it's just nothing to offer customers and then so we end up going online getting a better deal getting cheaper cheaper products and yeah, so I'm just. I think by the end of 2012, Game and Game Station will be no more. They will be gone. And I don't. I think they bought it on themselves, really. People are getting there. If people don't use online, the next cheapest place will probably be supermarkets, places like Tesco, Asda. Like they do these offers on like, um, like FIFA and Call of Duty. Like the days they're released, they're often the cheapest prices on the high street. And Game. To this day, I actually went in game a couple of days ago actually, and Call of Duty Black Ops was £35 in there and £29.99 pre owned. So I was thinking a game that's been out over a year was already a newer Call of Duty out and you're still selling it for £35. That's just not going to get any sales at all. So they've definitely bought it on themselves and if EA, if they can't stock the EA games, what's going to be next? Obviously, there's some big titles out this year that they're going to be wanting to sell. Like in the future, that's if they're still here by then. Maybe GTA 5, maybe they won't be able to stock the Rockstar games, and that's going to be a massive, massive um, like chunk of their yearly profits gone. Um, there's other big titles, like the ones that they're missing out on FIFA Street and. and um, sorry, Mass Effect. That's a massive Mass Effect is a massive release. It's probably, arguably, the biggest release of 2012 so far. Massive fan base. It's a big game. A lot of people anticipating it. People have gone in, put their pre-orders down, and only to find out today that game can't stock, won't be stocking EA games anymore, and Game Station, of course. So it's just a big mess, really, and it's just I think it's days are numbered. Um, just like Woolworths, it's gonna. Um, just die, die out. People will be getting their games from websites and like supermarkets. You're not going to really get any game specific um, high street stores anymore because pe people aren't shopping in them anymore. Simple as that. But yeah, I just wanted to give you my thoughts on that because obviously it's quite a big bit of news. Um, we'll see what happens now. So, game and game station they're going downhill and there's no way back up for them, I think big releases this year something big has to happen for them but I can't see anything good happening for them they're just terrible prices terrible trading prices so they're not getting any pre-owned games in and that's it bad offers I think they bought it on themselves so I'd like to know what your thoughts are do you think you're gonna miss game and game station and also gameplay.co.uk if you use that that's gone as well now because it's all in the same group owned by the same I think it's called game of uh, the game group or something like that so uh, yeah 
just drop down your thoughts and what you think of it and what you think for the future of um, shopping for games where do, where do you do yours I personally do mine on <clears throat> most of my on, um, game shopping on Amazon um, just because they offer the best prices and I'm okay with waiting for delivery so yeah that's, that's about it this is video just a quick one just drop down in the comments what you thought and that's it I'll see you in my next video thanks for watching